the German capital of Berlin, a European metropolis. Because of its favorable location, the city has grown to be one of the largest transportation hubs in Central Europe, a meeting point for business, culture, and politics. Almost 300 kilometers away, Hamburg, Germany's second largest city. The city on the river Elbe is also an important transportation center. Its harbor is the gateway to the world for the German economy. With the opening of Eastern Europe, Northern Germany is developing into the economic area of the future. Growing with this area is a super speed transportation system that is environmentally friendly, economical and can reduce the number of cars on the roads and make airplanes superfluous. As we look closer at the satellite photo of Hamburg, the major transportation arteries are easy to distinguish. In the heart of the city lies the main train station, a multimodal transportation center connecting the long distance and local public networks. Ten years from now, a completely new transportation system, the superspeed maglev system Transrapid, will connect Hamburg with Berlin. The superspeed maglev train lifts off and levitates out of the Hamburg train station in the direction of Berlin. Past the famous Deichtor Hall, over the river Elbe and through the harbor. Through an industrial quarter and on to the first stop, Bilverde Moorfleet at the edge of the city. With its ample parking facilities, this stop connects the Trans Rapid with the road system, a prerequisite for removing automobiles from the roads. After leaving this station, the Transrapid levitates towards the Autobahn A24. The Transrapid travels near the highway almost the entire way to Berlin, using a traffic corridor previously reserved only for the automobile. The Transrapid fleet consists of 16 train sets, each with four sections and room for about 350 passengers. The high level of travel comfort makes this trip an experience to remember. Transportation experts estimate that after the year 2010, nearly 40,000 people a day will travel with the Transrapid between Berlin and Hamburg. That's 14.5 million passengers per year. And almost every second passenger will choose the attractive Transrapid over a car or airplane. Train connections will be relieved. Rail capacity will be freed for freight transport. Streets will be relieved of some of their truck traffic, thereby bringing us closer to the goal of environmentally friendly transportation. Approximately a half inch of space is maintained between the vehicle and the guideway. Levitation magnets in the vehicle attract it upward to the guideway. The superspeed maglev train is propelled by a linear motor mounted in the guideway instead of in the vehicle. The Transrapid maglev system uses no wheels, levitating contact-free, thereby requiring less energy and producing less noise. At 400 kilometers an hour, the Transrapid heads for its next stop near Schwerin. Centrally located between Hamburg and Berlin, 
the Transrapid will allow fast, convenient access from both cities. The Transrapid will also open up possibilities for new businesses in northern Germany and create new jobs. With its beautiful landscape, the area around Schwerin is the perfect complement to the most environmentally friendly train ever built. The Transrapid Guideway will mainly be located at grade. It can also be elevated on slender supports where desired for environmental reasons. The landscape and biological areas are therefore less affected by the elevated guideway than by roads and railroad embankments. In addition, the area underneath the guideway can continue to be used for farming, for example. In any case, whether at grade or elevated, the superspeed maglev system requires less space and land than highways and railroads. Above all, the guideway mainly follows the Autobahn A24 in order not to burden any new areas. At 400 kilometers an hour, the Transrapid only consumes, per seat, the equivalent in gasoline of approximately 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Despite its high speed, it is significantly more economical than either the auto or the airplane. Under equal conditions, it is also more economical than a high-speed train. The view out of the window almost gives the impression one is flying. The bright and friendly interior provides more space and comfort than the business class in an airplane. The passengers do not even have to buckle up. Traveling will again be a memorable experience. Derailment is virtually impossible because the vehicle encircles its guideway. Therefore, the Transrapid is safer than every other transportation system. The Transrapid is also faster and quieter than modern high-speed rail systems. With its short and comfortable ride, about 40% of the Transrapid's passengers will be transfers from cars and airplanes thereby helping our environment. Shortly before reaching Berlin, the Transrapid leaves the highway. Entering from the west, the Transrapid heads toward its next to last stop at Berlin-Spandau. Spandau is the rail hub for long distance and regional transportation. From here, the Transrapid levitates toward the city autobahn in its final stop at Berlin-Westkreuz. Berliners live in close proximity to their elevated trains and subways. This modern suburban train travels at approximately 80 kilometers an hour through the city neighborhoods. Faster and quieter, the Transrapid will be able to travel at twice this speed through inhabited city areas. The superspeed maglev system, Transrapid, has covered nearly 284 kilometers from Hamburg via Schwerin to Berlin in less than one hour. Travelers will be offered this opportunity every 10 minutes, with a total travel time even shorter than flying. Berlin, Schwerin, Hamburg. A new railroad era is beginning with the superspeed maglev system, Transrapid. With a train technology made in Germany that's leading the world. The Transrapid, 
the fascination of traveling on a revolutionary new system that doesn't burden the environment.